Hey friends, I have a great one for you all today. It is a $1,000 grant, which is free money for your business that you do not have to pay back. My name is Darcy. I help people start money making businesses. And one of the best ways to do that is by winning free grant money. And so today I'm going to break down all the information you would need to know about this grant, like the grant sponsor, grant details that you need to know, grant documentation. What's the paperwork that you need to have in order to have the best chance chance of winning this grant. In addition, what are the grant requirements? What are the guidelines or rules that you need to meet in order for your business to be eligible? And then lastly, we're going to talk about the grant application, how you can access it, and then about how long it's going to take you in order to complete it. And so to give you the best chance of success when it comes to winning this grant and other grants, I've created a free business grant checklist. This is going to walk you through step by step the entire grant process. From the very beginning, when you're researching grants to see which one is best for you all the way to the very end when you were sending the grant sponsor reports because you have successfully won and executed on the project that you won the grant money for. And so this will be linked right here on your screen for you to access for free. And then if you want to take it a step further and keep track of multiple grants and have a grant list all in one, you can check out the Ultimate Business Grant Vault. And so the organization sponsoring this grant is the advisor Council. Their purpose is to make change through the communal redistribution of knowledge and resources, one entrepreneur at a time. And their vision is to reconstruct the world of business through the minds and visions of forward thinking leaders thriving in new philosophies of business. They would like to replace capitalistic ideals with human centered approaches to entrepreneurship redefine what it means to be a successful entrepreneur by changing the face of business and industry. They would also like to create lasting systemic change in how business can operate successfully by strengthening communities one entrepreneur at a time, which is a beautiful vision. And so just like I did, you want to make sure to read through this company's purpose, their vision, and their values so that you know that your business is in line with their values as well. And then once you do that, you want to use the help of ChatGPT or your own writing skills to include some of those values in the grant application. Now let's move on to grant documentation. And so in order to have the best chance of winning these small business grants, you want to have a few documents done and ready to go. One of them being a business plan it can be a 10 to 20 page document outlining all of the details about your business. And so you want to include a couple of different sections like the executive summary, your products and services that you offer within your business, getting strategy for how you plan on getting these products or services to your ideal customer. How is the market currently doing your competitive analysis, your financial projections, as well as your funding needs. And so you're going to have that business plan set aside and ready to go. You're also going to want to include your grant proposal. In a grant proposal, you want to include things like your statement of need, the project description, what you plan on spending the money on, your goals and objectives, as well as the budget that you need in order to complete the project. And then lastly, you want to follow that up with an evaluation plan. How do you plan on measuring whether your project was successful or not? And then a sustainability plan. How can the project live on beyond that specific time frame? And so you have the business plan, the grant proposal. The last couple of things that you'll need are your financial statements. And so this can look like your tax returns or any additional documents that shows how much money you've currently made in your business because a lot of times grant organizations want to confirm how much revenue you currently are making within your business. Now that you have all the documents you need for this grant and you know it's legit, let's talk about the grant requirements. And so in order to be able to qualify for this grant, there are certain conditions that your business needs to meet. One, you must identify as part of at least one systemically marginalized group. This includes but is not limited to Black, Indigenous people of color, individuals who have a disability, formerly incarcerated individuals, as well as queer, trans, and non-binary people. And so if you identify as being in one of those groups, then you do qualify. Next, your idea or business needs to be aligned with Transform's values, including anti-racism and anti-capitalism. And these values need to show up in how you run your business. Third, your idea or business is social impact oriented and challenges systems of oppression as well as addresses social injustices. Lastly, you do need to show a financial need for this money. How do you plan on spending this money if you were to win it? And so if you meet all of those conditions, pretty please apply for this grant as this is a $1,000 opportunity of free money that you do not have to pay back. Plus, I have a bonus for you all. 
sole proprietorships can apply. You do not have to have a business entity registered with your state. It can still be in the project and idea stage. And so now that I know you're super excited about this grant and applying for it, let's cover the grant timeline that you need to know. And so as it relates to this grant, this grant is open from today to March 31st. And so you want to apply to this grant as soon as possible. And at the very least, a few days before the grant application closes on March 31st. And then in April and May, they are going to review grant applications and, and then let the winner know that they have won this grant. And so if you are still working on getting all of your documents together, that is okay because they do have another round that, that opens opens up in September. And so you want to work as best you can getting your all your business documents together so that you're ready to go when grant opportunities like this come up. Access the grant application to the bottom of the grant FAQs and then clicking on our grant page. And so it's going to take you to this job form page. At the top, it's going to say 2024 Transform Business Grant Application. And, it's, and then it's going to give you important information that you need to take note of what this grant is and is not for. And so it clearly says this grant does not fund political organizations or activities, religious organizations for religious purposes or student loans or other debt payments. So do not talk about any of those things in the application or you will immediately get rejected. And so it first starts off with some qualifying questions to just see if your business qualifies or not. So do you identify as part of a systemically marginalized group? Yes. Is your business making social impact? Or if you have an idea, can you clearly show the social impact you would like to make? Yes. Is your business or business idea based in capitalistic values? Yes. Are you in financial need? Yes. And so you want to say no to capitalistic values because in the description, it clearly says in their values, we are actively anti-capitalistic and anti-racist. So if you say you are pro-capitalist, they are going to reject your application. So you're going to say no to this answer. I almost made that mistake before I double checked and read through their values. And so you can run a for-profit business, but not be in line with capitalistic values where it's all about making a profit and not putting the person first. Now, personal information, you're going to give your name, your pronouns, your email, your phone number, your mailing address, as well as how you heard about this grant and whether you are a returning applicant. So now it's going to ask you information about your business, like your business name. Are you applying on behalf of a team? You actually can. If you read through the requirements, you can apply on behalf of your team. So either either or is fine. Then you need to include your website and then which of the following social media platforms do you use for your business? I use YouTube. Now we're getting into the short response questions. Tell us about yourself. What are your identity factors? So this question is related to which marginalized group are you a part of? And then going into detail about that group. Then it's going to ask, how does your identity influence your worldview and how you approach your business? And so these are two really good questions. You have up to 500 characters to answer this question. So it's a very short word count. I believe it's between 100 to 200 words that you can respond. Then we have in one to three sentences, tell us about your business or business idea. Oh, wow. And then it says how you do all that you do. What's the magic ingredient they want to know? And then what are your goals for your business? Where do you want to go? And then who else is doing this? How are you doing this differently? So what's your competitive advantage? What do you do uniquely that nobody else does? And then it's going to ask you what problem does your project solve or what need does it fill? Oh, wow. There are a lot of questions. And then there's going to be questions about social impact. And then there's questions about the financial support that you need. And then the last question is asking you, where are you looking for support? They want to know that you're looking for mentorship and you actively want to grow yourself as well as your business. And so you're going to check off where you've looked for help. And then you're going to answer this last question. And then you're going to click review answers. And so you can see all of the responses that you answered for the short response question. And then once you're done, you can click submit and then you're done. You are ready to go. This is walking you through how to apply to this grant. And so if you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you want additional support on how you can use ChatGPT to help you with grants, you can check out this video right here.